Before we get this thing started, let me tell you guys a little bit about Metify. Metify is a site that helps you get better at the games that you love and kick more ass. They have coaches from around the world that will help you get on a top level to where you can finally learn to stop getting bodied by all these kids online. If you want to learn things like CSGO, League of Legends, Smash, other fighting games, it's all there. They have plenty of amazing options for you to pick from, including me for Smash. So if you guys are interested in getting coached by me, please go link at my link down below and we'll get something set up. Okay, I'm going to be real with you guys. I have never watched this matchup. I've never watched or really played this matchup against the notable Steve. Motherfucking Steve. At least he picked the good. At least he picked the good. The good skin. Let's see if he knows how to have a gun. If he knows the shield pressure shit. Tatsu on block. All right. I'm gonna say it right now. Mouse shield pressure sus. That's okay. Like that's one thing I know we have in this matchup is we can just shut this character down on block with this like you know uh, doing things like up tilt on block and shit because he doesn't really have anything outside of roll. Which you can just opt to select in a down smash with. Yep. Yeah, just jump over that. You can literally, you can literally like react to that with heavy jab and just swat that shit away too. Like it has item priority. You can toss you through it. You can do whatever you want. The one thing that Steve players want you to do is respect their side B so they can just get away with murder. I'm pretty sure um you can toss you through that. I think uh, think think that block those blocks in particular you can't toss you through. Okay. Yep, yep, build a wall. Build the wall. Oh no. Yep. Up tilt. Up tilt, bro. Cross up nair up tilt. He was dead. Mm. Ah It's driving me mad, bro. He had this man. He had him right there. There you go. There you go. What the fuck? Steve is alive? He lives? Yeah, that's free. Steve can't box me in the corner really well. I will say this, like, as this man starts covering jump out of shield when he starts setting up block pressure, it's it, it's going to help him out so much. It's going to help him out so much. Yep, fair. Jab, jab, grab. Okay, block. No, oh, no, he went for the down air. Okay, frame trap opportunity. No! He fucking choked it! He does this a lot when he has pressure, man. He always, like, ends up picking a defensive option because he gets scared and, like, he's going to whiff or something like that. And he gets swatted away. I saw this in his other sets, too. It's okay. He's still in it. Oh, no. Is he dead for that? Yup. Pain. Pain and agony. Oh, my God. Dash attack. Wow, he really just grabbed out of shield. That grab out of shield is so bad, too. It's got okay range, but... Oh, this ain't looking good. This ain't looking good. Yup, 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 yup. Okay, so let's talk about what went wrong there. Bad shield pressure. He did a good job of boxing the corner, but he could have done a better job if he would just fucking, like, throw out F-Tilt, man. F tilt, roundhouse, shit like that, just a down smash, focus cancel, anything like that. This band doesn't do any of that shit. I really need to see him down smash more, man. I really gotta see that. Because, like, uh, several times someone will be in boxing range and he'll try to, like, dash forward or something like that so he can get a down tilt or something like that instead of actually, like, abusing, like, the fact that he has the better buttons at that range. Like, Steve's got a decent jab, right? Why would you not just want to outspace him with better buttons? You know what I mean? Definitely would help him out a lot, I think. Like, like once he gets in and stuff like that, he can make it count, sure. But he's gonna struggle with consistency with that with that style. Okay. He's got center stage again. Hadoken. Nope. Double jump in there. See that Nair wasn't actually bad though. Because, like, once he commits to this, like, he kind of started catching on to the pattern of, like, where he's going to be after he does that little, like, you know, side B cart flow chart bullshit. Oh, no. Up, oh, build the wall. Wall combo. 
Bro, I would love to see him get like a grab and back throw his ass into that fucking wall. He got something crazy. That'd been so sick. Did he just jab lock with Tatsu? Hello? That was so weird. Imagine if we had like setups with like jab lock Tatsu shit. That'd be so sick. That was a good anti-air DP. That cart was mad sus. He was positioned perfectly for a DP on reaction. Just spacing out with Hadoken, bro. He's whiffing all these buttons. Okay. Back air, down smash. See, like right there. Right there, right there. When that whiffed, if he just would have down, down smashed right there, that was it, dude. Like he got the punish, he could have done down smash, light Tatsu, Mila got a tech chase, and it had a potential reset. Okay, like, but he, like, that's like the big thing. Like, that's my biggest gripe right now is I don't see him doing that. His up B out of shield is the freest thing I've ever seen. You talking about like who's up B? Steve's off stage. Oh, yeah, offstage, definitely. That up B is so good. Yeah, that was good. Um, what was that, on roll? No, it was on Tatsu. Oh, on dash. On dash. Yeah, that was definitely free. Jake is just doing a good job of just kind of like, you know, playing his game because Mal's not doing a good job of shutting down Steve's stuff. Also, he's so, he's so scared up close. He's holding shield so much. Okay. Okay, got another diamond. Yeah, like right there, he just walked into the corner, but he's just going to keep on mining resources because he knows he's not actually going to really pressure him. Like, you don't have to respect this character that much in neutral. Because, like, I'm watching Jake, and he's not even doing the annoying shit. Like, he's not really, like, littering the place with blocks and shit. Like, he's not building him up. And, like, the reason he's getting away with a lot of this shit is, like, he's getting over-respected. Like, you have the better boxing tools if you use them. Like, he doesn't use F-Tilt neutral much. He doesn't use roundhouse in much. Or, like, hard down tilt either. Like, you know, the bigger, like, the longer range buttons in neutral. Yep, there's back here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, like, Jake is just doing a good job of shutting down Miles' game plan. Pretty solidly, actually. He's got to get that mid-range boxing down, bro. He's got to get that mid-range boxing down. Ken definitely wins this matchup. I feel very, very, very confident in that. Ryu might struggle a bit because, like, block, blocks just kind of just make it to where you don't have to give a fuck about Hadouken, right? And he doesn't have the same level of option coverage that Ken has when it comes to, like, covering the air and shit like that. So, I mean, I don't know. But I also have, like, a lot of faith in Ryu. Like, I feel like Ryu can work around it, but it, it is just going to be annoying. So, if, you, if it was, it, it, it ended up being like negative one, I wouldn't be too surprised, but I could also see the argument for it being even. Terry definitely wins this shit, dude. Terry just kind of like crack shoots through a lot of Steve's shit. And if Steve whiffs anything, it's like free crack shoot stuff. But I will say that Steve has really good like really good disadvantage when it comes to landing. It's honestly one of the things that makes him so relevant in my opinion is how good his, his disadvantage is. Ah, he committed to the focus. Jump side B. That's like the main reversal option he needs to be like waiting for whenever he ends a neutral interaction or like like whenever he like does a combo because he does it every time just about. He can literally like 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 hold shield to like bait out the fucking cart and then just up beyond reaction to cart and it'll win every time. Okay. There's a sure you can. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. See, like, he does it every time. Because every time he's ever in a in a situation after he's lost a neutral interaction, Mal overextends, and he just just jump side bead reversals him over and over and over again. This is why acting second whenever someone's a disadvantage is smart, because you need to take the time to assess what they want to do, and then you make plays off that. But 
I've not seen Mal lay off the gas once when, after he's been in that situation to, like, you know, stop and analyze what his opponent wants. Okay, that was good. He got the fair that time. Nope. Kept going for lows. You got to go for highs on block whenever you're dealing with somebody who's made out of shield options. Jump. Okay. Yep, there. <laughs> Hello? Wait. 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 Wait a goddamn minute. Hold on. Hold up. Hold. Does this have armor? It has armor on startup? Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. All right. Okay, you've got center stage. Got it that time. Okay, so that time they are one. So it's just a startup. And I'm guessing it has to be gold as well. Wow, I finally saw TNT. I'm honestly surprised Jake does not use TNT, like, hardly at all. Like, TNT seems so fucking good. Got the back air. Tatsu, keep the pressure. Good 52. Again, right, right here, man. All he had to do, bro, is stay right there. But he buffered roll in for some reason. And maybe it was because he was scared of getting grabbed by the by the cart. I'm not sure. Okay. Wow, he landed there to grab? That was it. That was the kill confirm. Okay. Let's get it. No. No way! Who designed this piece of shit? I can't believe I died! I was at 58 or some shit! I'm like, I was winning the whole time. Wow, that was a great stall with focus right there. Cause I'm pretty sure he was dead with those with, with uh with the wooden blocks like that. Pretty sure that shit was guaranteed. Yep. No. No way! Who designed this piece of shit? I can't believe I died! I was at 50 or some shit! I'm like, God, I was that was so the good. Time. Down tilt, no! Dude! Ah that was it! I'm so sad, man. This dude literally choked pressure all no. the time on hit. No like, he would do, like, Who I'd land a hit on block, roll back, shit. or, like, spot dodge or something like that. He panicked so shit. much on hit. I'm like, I was winning the whole time. Ah. God damn it. So that was the reset, right? Yeah, that was a 3-0 reset. So let's go ahead and go down the list real quick. What I've seen so far about Mal. No, he does. He's not good at boxing with mid hit like hit with like hard down tilt, down smash, um, roundhouse things like that. And he doesn't ever do things like down smash focus on block. And he doesn't really abuse like his frame of data on block. He's never really confident when he's doing shit on block because like again, it shows whenever he lands and hits someone on block and he panics a lot, like what we just saw where it cost him that stock that time. Like whenever he actually starts switching his uh, shield pressure to match what his opponent's best options are at a shield and knowing how to work around their shield and has more confidence in that, his pressure will be better. Whereas right now, it's like if his combo starter doesn't land, he just panics and, and, he, just, and he loses it. Like, he can actually react in his roundhouse that cart, too. He can jump ferret. He can do anything. But he relies on Nair a lot. Nair's hitbox is kind of stubby compared to like some of the ones that Steve has. And Cart can be kind of inconsistent depending on which part of the hitbox he hits. Down smash. There you go. First, there you go. That's exactly what I want to see. Good down smash. Okay. Overcommits with a grab. Caught his landing with a forward smash. Okay. Go for center stage. I want to see you throwing Hadouken when he's in there mining though. Like, give him something to have to look for, even if it doesn't hit. You can always do slow and dash walk behind it, too, and get, uh, get some stage control. All right. Yep, set up the wall. You have down smash Tatsu. Yes, that's right. I forgot. 
That is so important. You can cancel off of the blocks, bro. That's actually... I have totally forgot about that. You can totally do that. Like, all of a sudden, he's actually using some matchup knowledge now. Down smash again. Do it again. Do it again, bro. Do it again. Bro, I'm... Do it. Man, he should have just done that shit again. He should have let that shit rock. Or you're gonna, like, down smash roundhouse and, like, broke the blocks down or anything. Okay. Hard up tilt. Good shit. Yeah, like, he's just standing there. He's just looking at it. Like, I don't get it. Like, bro, you can still break down the blocks. You can still break them down in a safe way to where you won't get whiff punished. He's just standing there. Menacingly. That must be, like, the most satisfying thing as a Steve player, bro. Just sit there and hide behind your wall and watch them just sit there and wait on you while you mine. Because they can't jump over it because you're just going to up smash it, right? Because, like, Steve's up smash is just ridiculous. Oh, that was a whiff. No! Fucking kill him! Oh, that's it. He overcommitted. After the, the hit confirmed in stick, he went unga bunga mode. Ah, oh, the Ken special. Pain. Pain. Okay, got the down throw forward smash. Yeah, there we go. He just, just went for it. This dude, this dude definitely plays with his heart. This dude definitely plays with his heart. Like, holy shit. Definitely an instinct base player. Okay. These approaches. This man makes me nervous. Is this going to hit? I don't know. If it doesn't hit, it's just going to be reversal city all over the place. Hope I get one person like Cuffs to support me, bro. Dude, It it it's honestly, I'm honestly super grateful for like the people who come by consistently and support me like they do. I really, really appreciate that shit. It's, it's, it's invaluable, man. Whenever you get those people, man, you treat them like gold. Okay, set up the back throw, set up the ledge. Down seat, see like that. Whiff Nair, hold shield. Whiff, uh, whiff button, hold shield. And then, like, it just gives Jake an open opportunity to like, kind of take his turn and either just, like, get past him or to just punish him for it. Because it's a very set pattern I'm see that he's that's being shown here. Oh, my God. Yep, that's it. That's it. And he taunted, bro. And he taunted, bro. Damn. Damn. All right, all right. Ugh. He's panicking, bro. I can definitely tell that Mao is nervous right now. Because he is he is second-guessing the hell out of himself, and it shows in his inputs and his pressure. All right, next. Like, this down smash like Tatsu should just go through, um, go through dirt. And it has very little lag. Okay. Roundhouse. Hadouken. Set him to the corner. That's an anti DP, honestly. Like, he literally, anytime he's at this angle, he always, literally almost every single time, recovers with side B, except that one time where he used up B. There's the wall. That should be it. Nope. Good to SDI. He buffered the SDI from the down air. That was SDI in, I believe. Okay, got the nair. Ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Back air. Yep. Oh my god, dude. See, like, right there, man. Check this out. If he was just, like, buffer roundhouse right here, check this out. Check this out. Down tilt, down tilt, roundhouse. If he was to spam roundhouse into itself, if Steve did anything, gonna get punished. He rolled in, down tilt. If he rolled away, whatever. You could just dash forward and punish that. Like, he did not have to sacrifice this here. You have frame advantage and frame traps on block 
that are amazing at this distance, especially whenever you're dealing with someone who has stubby range like J uh, like like Steve. But no, what he do? He goes ahead and holds shield and rolls in and just gives up center stage. God fucking damn it. <laughs> There's the back air. Got the grab. A lot of this is just showing, like, it's just showing, like, he's just giving him way too much respect. Whatever he's an advantage. And it's just giving Jake all this opportunity to just kind of, like, do whatever the hell he wants. Yep, there's the forward smash. See, like right here, when he's ever in this, he's in this situation. He's he needs to be standing like either right where he's at right now. But personally, I would be like right here, okay? Because from here, you can actually react with the side B and anything like that with hard up tilt, right? You can actually react to that. But he's constantly like doing dash dash shield dash 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 shield roll and stuff like that in neutral, and it's kind of making him committal whenever he's like trying to like space around. Yep, 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 yep. Jake is getting away with murder right now. And he knows it, too. You, I can definitely see that Jake is playing super confident right now because, like, he's, like, getting hit with starters and nothing's happening, though. Or he's getting hit with, like, really good shield pressure tools and nothing's happening. There's the fair. Good shit. Okay, ledge trap opportunity. DP. Nope. Ah. There you go. He picked it up. How do you catch that, though? Oh, he just taught you. He just went for it. He just went for it. Okay. Oh, my God. Let me see that again. After that whiffed, like, he could have thrown out Hadouken. He could have dashed forward down tilted. Actually, that forward down tilt, he probably would have been able to jump away. Dash forward up tilt or something like that would be good. Because normally, Jake jumps out of pressure. Pretty sure you can down smash that. Nah, nah, that back is actually pretty damn safe. But Jake is also sacrificing um, sacrificing his advantage, too, whenever he hits him on block. He like do, like, back air shield. So, like, he can take that opportunity to set up on block there. And, like, he does it every time, but, like... Both of them, whenever they're in, like, boxing range, they're both, like, on an autopilot whenever it comes to the options they're picking after, like, they hit them on block. It's either shield, jump for Jake, and then for Mao, it's like, he just, like, panics and, like, tap, like, spot dodges or shields or something like that, even though he has the better shield, has the better shield options, shield pressure options so far, because he's fucking Ken. You know, you can just kind of do what the fuck you want. Frame trap mid range, or if you're up close, just mash up tilt because they don't have anything they can really do. There, and he's definitely dead for that. Uh, this is killing me because he would win. I really feel like Mao would win this if he just. Uh, just fucking breathe, man. He's playing nervous. I can definitely see that. Okay. After this, I'll probably do the Nuzlocke, by the way, guys. Probably going to start the Emerald Nuzlocke after this. Okay, here we go. Up tilt, up tilt. Yep, yep, yep. That That's something you do have the respect on landing a lot, is Steve's up tilt. Because if you focus it, they're definitely going to get that, and they're going to get a huge combo starter. That up tilt is scary. Okay, Tatsu, set him up a ledge. Okay, goes for the read for the jump. He would have survived that too, though, so that wasn't even good. He probably should have just like waited and waited to see what he was gonna mash up hits on and kept it going. Okay, there you go. That was a good string. See again with the down tilt, so it's the uh, Jake is able to jump out of pressure. Nair down tilt is not good when someone calls these mashing jump out of shield. Yep. Yep. No double jump. Just reset on the platform. Oh, okay. That works, too. Got the grab. Back throw. Set him up to the ledge. Ledge trap opportunity. If he would just... 
Because I swear to God, Jake does this every time and he gets away with it. If he would have stayed right where he's standing instead of dashing here, that was, that was a reactable DP right there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And he's constantly in the air, bro. Like, I'm noticing that. Like, Mal is... Woo! I love seeing that. Mal was always in the air, but then he randomly will pop off with some random ass read like, like mix like that. I love land landing hard up tilt focus. That's so good, dude. It's so good. And you're done. Good shit. That'll definitely fuck with someone's mental state. That was clean. Okay, rising there. I don't know what he is going for right now, dude. It's just kind of like. He just kind of throws out the most random buttons. Like, Tatsu at low percents like that's not good. Okay, caught him for dashing again. Yeah, and he's getting, like, a lot of the whiff punishes, like, he's getting in neutral. Honest to God, if you really sit back and look at a lot of this, is dashing. He's getting caught for, like, like uh, the majority of the side Bs he's getting hit for is normally because he's pushing a button or he's dashing. He needs to walk more. Especially when he's at advantage. Yup, yup. Yup, 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 yup. Yeah, this is I'm pretty sure this is over. I thought I thought Mal won this tournament, but I guess not. Are you dead? There's the DP. Yep. No, still living. He fell out of it? That was medium, too. Yep, that's it. All right. All right. Let's talk about it. Okay. So, I want to go down the list. The list. Mao, whenever he's confident, like, like from the other sets I saw, pops off. But the moment he starts playing, uh, playing nervous, it's very clear that he just starts doing, like, his panic options start coming out. As far as, like, you know, like, setting up shield pressure and just autopiloting and, like, getting scared of reversals and just constantly, like, mashing spot dodge and stuff like that. That honestly cost him the most, because, like, his shield pressure was pretty much non-existent, especially in this set. Um, whenever he was ledge trapping, like, he did a lot of, like, you know, guessing and a lot of unga bunga options. And whenever, like, but then there'll be random times when he'd switch gears and, like, take his time. And then, like, he did better. He always did better in those situations. And then, like, then there was times he would over-respect his opponents and disadvantage. Like I said, whenever the the Steve was, like, constantly, like, doing cart to come back. If you just simply would have held his position, like, like, like ledge roll does and took a couple steps back, he could react to that every time. Never did. Um, never, uh, needs to talk to Trump more. Needs to actually learn how to box at mid-range with things like F-tilt, hard down-tilt roundhouse things like that and he needs to walk more because a lot of things like like i noticed was like he was constantly getting interrupted for dashing and holy fuck this man was in the air way more than he ever was on the ground like automatically that was kind of sus and the one thing that really drives me nuts about this matchup in particular is he did down smash tatsu and went right through the dirt blots and he never did it again never did it again and even if the steve was like spaced far away you can do like light tatsu and light tatsu doesn't even have a lot of lag so you can just bulldoze through that, and I thought he was catching on to the matchup, and he was trying stuff, and he did for, like, the first stock of the reset, but then he just stopped. He went back to being scared again. So, I don't know how, I mean, he might be a newer player, but overall, I mean, getting second place in a tournament this stack definitely shows that the guy does have promise, obviously. Like, he definitely, he definitely has some, uh, some promise, but he's definitely going to have to, he's definitely going to have to focus more on, like, control in this, whenever he has an opponent in disadvantage, instead of just going off of his gut. Because, oh, like, it's going to keep him as a, like, it's, it's a style that a lot of kin players go with, and that's what they like, but it's also what a lot of kin players struggle whenever it comes to trying, trying to learn how to be consistent as a player. So, that's just what I think. That's my opinion. Take it for what you want. But, that's my analysis on Mal. This will probably end up going up on YouTube. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this.